The study titled, quote, The 500 Dalton for Skin Penetration of Chemical Compounds and Drugs, unquote, by Boss J.D. and Minardi, suggests that for a compound to be absorbed through the skin, its molecular weight should be under 500 Dalton. This is because the human skin, particularly the outer corneal layer, acts as a barrier, more effectively blocking larger molecules. So, dutastride, with a molecular weight of 528.53 Daltons, very obviously exceeds this 500 Dalton threshold. This might imply that the absorption through the skin could be challenging, however, not impossible. Arguments brought forward against the 500 Dalton rule. In discussions of the upper limit of skin absorption, several arguments might be brought forward against the suggested 500 Dalton rule. The first argument is that it is not a penetration problem, but a formulation challenge. That is, with the use of the appropriate pharmaceutical formulation, the drug will be absorbed, taking into account its lipophilic or hydrophilic character. Adjusting the vehicle in such a way that the drug prefers to leave it and go into the integument. However, authors are not aware of any formulation that contains a drug with a MWL over 500 Dalton that is clinically effective in any skin condition. Oh wow, hopefully this isn't jarring, but I'm stepping in here to kind of disrupt this reading. This study is from 1999, so since then, yes, there has been some innovations in this field, and there are molecules over 500 Dalton that can be absorbed to the skin due to specific delivery mechanisms. So, right back to the video. Penetration enhancers then would solve the problem, but again, there is no proof for this hypothesis. In fact, the only way described thus far to overcome the epidermal barrier is by exposing skin to phonophoresis or electroporation as described earlier. Concluding remarks. The human skin is indeed an effective barrier, but it cannot prevent smaller molecules to enter. In Fig. 1. The estimated penetration barrier characteristics for normal human skin, atopic dermatitis skin, mucosa, and phonophoretically disrupted skin are indicated. Somewhere around 500 Dalton is the start of a rapid decline in skin absorption due to molecular size. The barrier is formed by the corneal layer since when absent, such as in mucous membranes, larger molecules may penetrate and thus be effective. Topical treatment of mucosal lichen planus with cyclosporin, 1202 Dalton, is an example, 20, although this is not without controversy, 21. Atopic dermatitis forms the exception to the 500. Dalton rule, since it can be managed by topical application of tacrolimus and ascomycin derivatives, 822 and 811 Dalton, respectively. In practical dermatological applications, though, methods have been developed to enhance its absorption, dutasteride's absorption, that is, despite its larger size. For instance, microneedling, a process that creates tiny punctures into the skin, can improve penetration of topical treatments like dutasteride. These micro-injuries bypass the restrictive outer layer of the skin, allowing for larger molecules to reach deeper layers where they can be effective. Also, the concentration of dutasteride might help in getting more effective outcomes. Higher concentrations might enhance the drug's absorption and the instances in which the drug is absorbed, possibly making up for its larger molecular size. This could lead to improved effectiveness in treating conditions like androgenetic alopecia. Fix Law